Hi guys, it's Salston. In this video, we are going to take a look into a browser extension called Tab Extend. It is basically an organizing slash bookmarking a productivity browser extension which primarily works for Chrome but also do work with Chromium based browsers like Vivaldi, Edge, uh, Obera, all these things. But you need to make sure the Chrome is the native support but check whether your Chromium based browser support it. And also if you are a Firefox user, unfortunately it's not for you because they do have an old extension but it's not having all the new features and they are, it's currently abandoned for the Firefox. So it's primarily for Chrome and I'm just directly going to show it. It's one of those plugins where you don't need a video but just wanted to show how I can use and how you can use if you are interested in something like this. Uh, basically what this plugin does is it automatically uh, helps you uh, to uh, organize your browser by whenever you pressing on a new tab rather than whatever the new uh, default tab you get with your browser it will have this sort of interface basically you can uh, bookmark uh, and organize your links into different groups and you can have different section uh, groups also for example you can have different groups on which you want and you can have different sections inside each group also and you can have multiple workspaces also so there are so much uh, options for organizing the browser uh, links for example if you want to have a workspace separate for business you can do inside the workspace you can have a different groups with different sections are possible if you want to have a workspace for personal stuff you can see as i created and you can open up this and you will present it with different um, different sections and different groups that's how easy it is to organize i'm not probably going to open up all because this is one of the plugin i use on my chromium based uh, chrome browser so just if you want to create a new workspace also it's just easy as soon as you click on it you can see a new workspace is created now i can come here and edit the name for example video demo let's do that and i can assign uh, i only using it personally so i'm getting only one user and once i created it now you see i have a blank different desktop and now what i can do is i can open up let's say for example uh, i open up a url and automatically that url will now show here for example let me refresh it and you can see that google is also showing here so now there is option where i can create various different groups under this workspace for example i can create a group i can give a name for example search engines um, and let me uh, change the icon if i want i can do that and also i have couple more options like uh, do i want a compact view let's first let's see how to bookmark it as soon as you just click on it and drag it down it is bookmarked uh, and now when we see compact view you can see if you have a lot of items you want in a small scale you can do that basically this is how it works it's just that simple uh, you can see automatically uh, you can keep on bookmark it as much as you want and you group this the way you want which is more productive for you you can also automatically make a section for your a bookmark or top sites and you can just keep on creating more uh, let's say it can demo two uh, demo three just you can keep on creating like that basically now you can open up this in like this and it will open up in case if you prefer to open it up in a new tab you can do that by here clicking on here now the link should be opening up in a new tab and if you want to open all the links within one particular group in one case let's say for example you have bookmarked a couple of uh, new site and you like to open everything in one go if you click here it will open up everything there so not only you are restricted for uh, let's say for example just a links uh, where you can edit the links edit the names of the links uh, url all those are possible moving to the different uh, groups is also possible but you can also create custom nodes with it for example uh, if i you can use it like a quick uh, sticky notes for example if i want this is a note and i can do that and anywhere i want i can create a note this is a second note and this will stay there and i can move it around i can 
place it and also I have different color options also available you can use the creativity is the uh, limitation for this I can add emojis to inside this and you can see I can copy this uh, to clipboard and not only we are uh, restricted to notes but we do have the option to make a to-do list also so if you want you can make this kind of a to-do list you can have a separate section group for something like uh, to do this is how i am in my personal one where i created note and i made sure to make this as a to-do so you can create easily make a different note and also you can just keep on adding more and more stuff as you want so that is how easy and also you have the option to search through all these things do you want to untick something and it shows a quick overview so i can search based on it for example as i do and you can see this is coming out and that's how you can search through the different stuff also so if you have a large database also it's completely fine so that is how easy it is just to keep on creating workspaces and organizing so now for the cons which i personally found out was one it might be not suited for everyone everyone will have a different uh liking for example some may you just the basic browser bookmarks that is fine or you might use some other products like raindrop or other uh, different different products available for whatever the organizing purpose so it might not feel for right for everyone so in that case try it out a free account give it a try it and see and firefox is not a um, not uh, possible as I mentioned in the earlier video it's just for chrome and chromium based browser and one more con which I noticed this does not happen every time for example you can see how fast uh, this is loads you can see it loads really fast but chrome is a memory intensive browser we already know that stuff but so whenever i sometimes open around 15 to 20 different tabs or something like that and whenever i open this sometimes it takes couple of seconds like you can see it takes couple of seconds even without i have just opened one tab so there is a bit of speed issue but other than that everything works really well and it really helps us to keep organized and you can just keep on creating it and they are create coming with great new features in really fast time so i when it was i was start getting starting to use this just uh, uh, one month ago now it has grown sig sorry significantly fast so there is a lot of development going and re it's really a, a unique way of re designing and organizing your links and everything on the browser so if you are interested feel free to check it out i'll leave the link on the description you there is a free account first i i recommend you try the free account for let's say like another one day or so then once you are comfortable and if you think this might help you then pick up the deal currently going on once again thank you so so much and if you guys have any questions feel free to let me know and once again thank you for watching and have a great day cheers